Man Who Sold His Skin stars Yaya Mayani as Sam, a Syrian refugee who turns his own body into a living work of art and is promptly exhibited in a museum. However, he soon realizes he may have sold away more than just his skin. This is written and directed by Kauther Ben Hania, and this was one of the nominees for Best International Feature at the Oscars earlier this year, having gone through a festival run in 2020 before getting a limited release at the very beginning of 2021. And while the fact it was nominated for this category had me interested enough, what really caught my attention was its title and premise. While first and foremost a character-driven drama, this also acts as a satire on the art scene, as well as a statement towards the treatment of refugees, as our main character Sam is a Syrian refugee seeking shelter in Lebanon and has to agree to getting this tattoo for this artist in order to get the necessary paperwork he needs. The way this particularly goes after the art scene is almost like the Netflix horror film Velvet Buzzsaw in a way, though considerably less goofy in nature and with a little bit more to say in terms of social commentary. And I did like what this has to say, as this especially hits some similar themes as another of the Best International Feature nominees, Quo Vadis Ada, though approaching its issues from a much more socially driven angle and maybe with a bit less of a somber tone. Not that this film's lighthearted in its approach, but I'd say it's not consistently really dark or depressing, though I'd say maybe its tone is where I thought things could have been better. Sometimes there are lines thrown our way that do showcase just how ridiculous and horrifying the levels of exploitation can be, like one instance in which someone in the art scene expresses concern for the insurance company rather than Sam when asked about a hypothetical scenario regarding his health, and these moments would often go hand in hand with a nicer visual flair thanks to Ben Hania's direction and the way she really highlights the art scene. However, it would then go from a more satirical approach to being a bit slower and more methodical. At times, things would get quiet with lingering shots on our characters in an attempt to really highlight their mental state or the gravity of the situation, and while there were some really impactful moments thanks in part to an excellent lead performance by Yaya Mayani, I do think this in turn does cause the movie to have some pacing issues. There is an emotional core there to keep us engaged, but the way it shifts from slower and more introspective to somewhat more ridiculous in nature, though without ever getting cartoonish, it just felt a little off-putting for me. So while I liked what the movie was going for, I wouldn't say I necessarily loved every aspect of it. Still, this isn't a bad film overall, and at the very least, it's something a bit different. It has a great performance, a nice emotional core, and solid messages regarding the treatment of refugees, exploitation, and the art scene. It may not be for everyone due to its pacing, but if you're in the mood for something a little out of the ordinary, this may be worth a shot. The Man Who Sold His Skin gets a 6.5 out of 10. So let me know, did you see The Man Who Sold His Skin, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you like this story's message? Do you think it should have won at the Oscars earlier this year? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it. And for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone and keep having fun with film.